Hi, Kelly. Yeah, so more than one professional in the retail restructuring and bankruptcy area used the term tsunami to describe what may be coming. And I'm not talking about the names that you mentioned, the ones that were already in trouble. I'm talking about healthier retailers that may now have to at least consider the possibility of bankruptcy. These business models were not built to have stores closed for lengths of time. If you've got zero cash flow coming into store, which is where the majority of those sales are coming in, you've still got fixed costs that you have to pay. This is going to be real trouble for a lot of names. Yes, names like Dick's Sporting Goods, American Eagle Outfitter said they saw an acceleration online when stores closed, but they warned that that could be short-lived. And it's all leaving retailers to figure out truly how much longer they can last with the stores closed. And when they open, no one really knows how shoppers will react and if they'll feel comfortable coming back in. So bankruptcy lawyers, advisors, bankers, they're all fielding calls, but they say it's not ideal to file now. Doing so starts the bankruptcy clock running. And also the best way to pay creditors quickly is by having those liquidation sales at the stores that are going to close. And if the stores are already closed, you can't very well have those sales. So they are thinking that once the economy gets back up and running, you're going to see a rush of retailers filing for bankruptcy. You want to be among the first to have those liquidation sales too. Back over you, Kelly.